So yesterday we had the announcement that North Warwickshire was going to be staying in tier three over the Christmas period. Obviously I was incredibly disappointed as I know many local people were as well. I was particularly disappointed for the many fantastic hospitality businesses that we have in the area who are going to be disproportionately affected through what's going to be undoubtedly their busiest time of year normally. So we've got to do what we can to try and support those businesses moving forward. I think it is a real challenge for government to actually get a balance right on this. I don't think anybody would actually envy the job. Initially it was absolutely right for government to follow the science because we didn't know very much about the virus. But as time's gone and we've learned that much more, now we need to shift that balance and look at how we can protect the economy and also make sure that people aren't missing those vital things like hospital appointments for cancer treatments or heart appointments and also so that people's mental health is protected. And that's why as much as you wouldn't put an economist in charge of fighting the pandemic, we need to strike a balance between what we're doing with the science uh, as we start to move on with it. And as I've said all along, the success of the tiering system is whether areas move in and out of them. And I was very, very pleased that Matt Hancock, the Health Secretary, did keep his promise to me and to North Warwickshire that he would look at Warwickshire in isolation this time around rather than pair us with uh, the other areas of Solihull and Coventry. And it was thanks to the hard work that local people had done that it was pleasing for us as an area that we weren't actually mentioned in the government report. The areas of incidence creeping up were in other areas such as Warwick and in Stratford and Avon. And there's been a really, really positive take up of people going to uh, have the lateral flow vaccine test. Figures announced today so that in the first week, 2,200 people from North Warwickshire actually took those tests. So that's a fantastic achievement and people have worked hard. So that's why, as I say, it is really, really a disappointment for us that we aren't able to move on. However, we are where we are with this and we need to continue to follow those guidelines. But the best route of it out for us over the Christmas period is for people to continue to follow that advice, continue to take up on the testing that's available both at Water Orton and in other areas around the constituency. Have a great Christmas, but most of all, just be sensible and take that responsibility and think about this as a long-term issue that we want to get out of into the new year and make sure that we can look ahead to 2021 with a lot more optimism. So I've already mentioned that one of the key things in combating the virus is people getting tested and the Water Orton site is for people who are asymptomatic so they're not showing any symptoms. I'm really pleased today that we've had the launch of the Woolpack Way car park site here in Atherston which is just down the road there. We, for obvious reasons we can't film outside of it but that site is for people who are actually showing symptoms and they have stressed that it is very important that you book an appointment before you go and you can do that either by calling 119 or via the link on the North Warwickshire Borough website. Uh, one other point is that we're also looking to try and get testing sites that are mobile put in across the area and also I'm working with the County Council for ways that we can get transport for people to get to these sites who maybe have mobility issues or are just a little bit outside of the catchment area. But it's great to see that we are seeing plenty of opportunity for people to go and get tested.